Okay, um, this is a quick demonstration of the R presentation system, which we call R Prez for short. Um, so here, let me share my screen. Um, all right, so um, here is that quick model we had back in module zero, um, just so we have something to work with. Um, I commented out the install packages because we don't want to use those every time, but we would need the library commands. Um, remember, this has the quick cleaning of the data. Um, it divided sale price by 1,000, so it makes it a little bit cleaner when you make a graph. Um, we did the two summaries of the two variables for kitchen quality. We'd get counts of how many are in each category um, for above ground living area or above grade living area. It'll show you uh, the six number summary. Remember, that's the mean and then the five number summary that would go on a box plot. We made a quick uh, scatter plot um, that would just show how the different uh, lines would, um, the kitchens would work. Um, and then we had um, the linear regression of the two models, one of just the above ground living area and then one of the above grade living area and the kitchen quality and then the summaries of it. So to use our prez, you just go over here to the plus sign, just like you do. And you go down here to say that you're gonna make an R presentation. Um, it'll ask you to make a new file. Um, I actually made one before, so we'll just save right over it. Yep. Okay. And then it kind of resets a little bit. And what's cool about R Prez is that it puts your little, uh, um, what you see is what you get display right over here so you can see it. And just like R Markdown, it does give you, um, a template that you can work from. So you can put your name on there. Um, and auto size is true is a little bit annoying, but uh, let's leave it on there um, for right now. So um, every time you click save, it's going to update over here. Um, and so that's kind of a nice thing. And again, something that in our markdown, right, you have to knit it every time and it's a little bit more complicated. Um, just like our markdown, you get a little simple template here with uh, three samples. Um, the format here doesn't have a YAML code. Instead, these rows of equal signs separate each slide, and what's right above it is the title of your slide. So um, chunks work just like they do in our markdown. You can either have ones where it shows your code, or you can put echo equals false which it won't show. So I always think right here on your um, title slide, that's where you wanna put a chunk to do all of the preliminary stuff that you need to do um, before you start. So I'm just gonna copy the whole top of our model um, into here. And again, echo equals false, so no one will see it. And again, that title slide doesn't have anything different on it, but inside it's gonna have all the code that needs to run to get you set up. Okay, then on our first slide uh, with code, um, we'll just go ahead and put our two summaries on there. Um, and I'm just gonna stick them right in here like this. And then again, I'm gonna save it. And then you can see how those codes work. And again, you can see um, poor, fair, typical, good, excellent kitchen and that six number summary for the above grade living area. Um, okay, so that works pretty well. Um, then it does have a slide right here for the plot. So we can go ahead and put that plot in just like we had before. And again, I'm just gonna copy and paste it over. You can bring the comments if you want, but it doesn't matter because we have echo set to false. And here you go. One thing that is annoying with our prez is that it tries to um, auto size your plot. And I always think it makes it a little bit too small. So you might wanna stretch it out here if you did that. Um, um, you can go into um, the features of ggplot, so you get your ggplot cheat sheet out and you can um, remember how that goes, um, how to change the scaling. Um, I don't know if I want to do it all right now um, to make the sizes um, a little bit different, but you can use that zooming um, and the uh, scaling feature in order to fix that. Um, yeah, you can see that it doesn't quite resize the way you wish it did. Um, okay, so anyway, that is what it is. And like I said, um, I'll show you the little tutorial um, and you can see it. So 
from here, we would need two more slides where we would put our actual uh, regression models. I'm going to, because we want to show the slide, I'm just going to copy and paste this one from up here. Um, unlike our markdown, it doesn't matter what the uh, name of it is or anything, so you don't have to be particularly careful with that. I'm going to call this one the uh, square foot model, and this one I'll call the square foot model plus kitchen. Then again, I'm just going to go back to my code and I'm going to copy it over. And um, just to be quick, I'm going to copy it twice, but then I'm going to delete what I don't want. Um, remember, I did it where I did the models and then the summary, but we probably want to put the model stuff all on one page to be a little bit neater. Okay, so with that, now I save it again and it's going to display what we want. Now, one problem is that um, the summary command has a little bit more information than you want. You remember, there's different ways to look at a linear model. I'm going to actually take summary off of there so that we'll just get uh, the coefficients um, on there. So remember, when we interpret that, we would say the intercept is four. Remember, we made it in thousands of dollars. So an empty piece of ground must cost about $4,000. And then every square foot adds $118, right? Every thousand square feet adds um, 0.118, which is, or every, yeah. So $118 a square foot as you do that. And then the same thing for uh, the other model. Again, that's a little bit big and hard to see. Um, so we'll just make that a little bit briefer and save it like so. And here we get our display here. Um, and again, you can go in and set style sheets and do other things like that. But here we see now um, our blank uh, piece of ground is $3,000. And then the general living area is $85 a square feet instead of 115 like we had on the earlier slide, $118. So $85 a square foot. Then the size of your kitchen gives you um, a discrete bump up or down. So you can pretty quickly see how these two models are different. But more than that, you can see how RPRES is a really quick way to make some slides. I think Beamer has more features, and that's the other video. But if you want a quick and dirty set of slides that you can use, it's hard to beat RPRES um, for what you want to do. So um, with that, that's RPRES. And um, like I said, if that's the thing you want to use, um, that should be enough to get you started. Um, before I stop, I do want to mention um, on this first slide, it does have a link to this help um, screen. And if you pull that up, um, it does actually have a pretty nice uh, um, tutorial for that. And that has a whole bunch of things about how to go in and do that. And you can actually go as deep as you'd like to to see more and more about that um, and all the various things you'd want to do um, to make your art presentations look kind of snazzy. Um, with that, um, that's all I'm going to have for here, but you can go in there a little bit deeper if you want, or otherwise you can go on to Beamer. So there you go.